welcome back, fans, to the biggest IPW weekly recap in IPW history. Aaron Royal and Ron Neeme, we've got three. That's right, count them. One, two, three. Big title matches coming up tonight. Two of them, they got some NWA Florida flavor. That's okay. Up first, Danny Doring defending the NWA Florida heavyweight title against Billy Fies. Aaron Royal comes out here complete with the heel sunglasses, but yet is wearing a Mark Zoe t-shirt. Ain't quite figured out the business yet. But the truth of the matter is, Danny Doring, your NWA Florida heavyweight champion, taking on the former IPW heavyweight champion, Billy Fives. He's coming in. He wants an what? NWA Florida title. Aaron Royal, all excited. I don't know if he's been watching old Tony Schiavone tapes. It's getting under my skin. I tell you, I'm so excited about my great editing job last week. We've got the Shades. We've got Rod Steele. Two more big matches, but right now, OB match action coming at you right now. Challenger for this match, and he's going for the NWA Florida Heavyweight title. It's not Scotty Riggs. He does have the clap. It's Billy Pye. It's amazing watching the fans here in IPW Hardcore Wrestling, how they actually give their love and adulation to somebody like Billy Pye's, like Billy Pye's, and to upset him. Well, Billy Pye's, ever since he choked out Hawk and sent him packing to the other coast of the United States, the fans have taken a liking to him. And there's your NWA Florida Heavyweight Champion, Danny Doring, followed by SoCal Val, and I'm just gonna have to stop here for a second, Ron Nene. I'm getting just a little excited. SoCal Val decides to wear somebody's elbow pads as a mini skirt to the ring. You gotta love that, Aaron. I do love it, Ron Nene. <laughs> I love everything about IPW, especially, especially the ladies. I like them too, Aaron, but I got some semblance of order. I'm the one that they refer to as the gentleman in this conglomeration. You got Billy Fives, former IPW heavyweight champion, and Danny Doring. You should see the physical condition of these guys. You see it right here live. Danny Doring has whipped himself into shape, and Billy Fives, what the hell are you doing? You gotta love this guy's attitude. Billy Fies with the gyration there. He's throwing Danny Doring off of his game just a little bit. Danny Doring now a two-time NWA Florida heavyweight champion. He beat Steve Carino right after the inaugural tournament down here to get that belt right here at the WrestlePlex. Lost the belt to Christopher Daniels, only to win it back the very next night. He's a fighting champion, and you have to be to take on Billy Fies. And what the hell is he doing? You got this kid that got all his technical ability, and he decides to go after Billy Fies. And what is he? <laughs> Billy Fies again. He, he's <laughs> playing the head games. He's getting inside of the head of Danny Doring, who once again, you see how this kid has whipped himself into condition. He looks ten times better than he did when he's in ECW. He's taking this NWA Florida Heavyweight Championship very seriously, and he's got a hell of a contender in the ring with him in Billy Fives. Billy Fives, former IPW Heavyweight Champion, multiple time FOW Heavyweight Champion. He's going to add the trifecta to that arsenal. For fans that don't know, NWA Florida, they work very, very closely with us here at IPW. They run their shows in conjunction with us at the Florida WrestlePlex, and you're seeing this great, great match stemming from that right now, Ron Neeme. Billy Fives recognizes number 201 in this year's Pro Wrestling Illustrated 500, the 500 best wrestlers in the entire business. Billy Fives, the former IPW Heavyweight Champion, gunning for that NWA Florida Heavyweight title. He is number 201 in this year's PWI 500, and to be honest with you, I think he was underrated. Billy Fies, Scoot Andrews, Naftali, all of our guys who are rated are very, very underrated. We may not get some of the push on the internet that they get in the Northeast. We may not get all the credit that they get other places, but we're finally starting to get recognized, and you see exactly why with these two competitors going at it right now. Billy Fies taking a nice shoulder tackle right to Danny Doring, leaps over him, SoCal Val there on the outside. I thought she might get involved, but instead she's just looking mighty rain. She is one of the hottest girls that we've ever had here in IPW. She's a new addition to the roster IPW, and you hear the fans going absolutely crazy for Billy Fies, who resorts to the fisticuffs and backs Danny Doring in the corner and gives him some big boots to the midsection. Billy Fies can chain wrestle, he can brawl, and as you saw right there, he can lay fisticuffs and some boots right into you, and then go for the three count too. All oh, feet on the ropes, but Richie Rich catches it. Our referees don't always catch that kind of stuff. They're too busy paying attention to SoCal Val, or if you're Jim Bragg, to your constipation problems, or as everyone knows about Star Stevens, we all know what he pays attention to. But right now, they should all be paying attention to this great match going on in the ring, and how Billy Fies is absolutely manhandling the NWA Florida Heavyweight Champion. 
When you think of Billy Fives, you think of technical expertise. You think of power. No, he's not six foot eight, 320 pounds, but this guy is well versed. He's been trained in the martial arts. He's one of the best mat technicians in the entire business, and he can play dirty with the best of them. Billy Fives will do anything it takes to get that title off of Danny Dory. Just as he did anything it took to get Hawk out of here. I mentioned it earlier, but you should have heard the Russell Flex fans when he choked out Hawk. And you should just hear right there the oof coming out of Billy Fives as he takes a low bow to the McGroin. Perfectly legal here in IPW for some unknown reason. The referees don't care whatsoever if you go down low. They don't care if they rake the eyes. They're too busy wasting their time hitting on Watch some hot her. little piece of... Uh, what, we can't talk about that here, Ron, but there she is pulling the hair of Billy Fives, and I knew from the looks of her, she just wanted to get a hold of him just one time. I heard her talking about wanting to run her hands right through the hair of Billy Fives in the back, but I didn't hear her say she wanted to slap him right across the face. So called Val obviously got a lot of guts. Billy Fives doesn't care what he's got to do to win this title, and if he's got to manhandle her, he'll do what it takes. And Danny Doring resorts to a titty twister on Billy Fives. What the hell's he thinking? He's thinking, hey, maybe a titty twister will allow me to hit this big leg lay and go for the three count. But Danny Doring goes, no, it won't, because I kicked out at one and a half. Danny Doring's always thinking one head of move. He's always got to move ahead. One head of move. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm getting excited watching this match. He's swinging blindly. He almost takes out the referee, Richie Rich. I'm blubbering. I don't know what's going on. And there's Danny Doring getting absolutely destroyed by Billy Fives. We've said that Danny Doring lost this belt here, but even in that match, I never saw him being manhandled the way he is right now by Billy Fives. Billy Fives came in here with one purpose in mind, as you see him choking out Danny Doring with the knee. That is one thing, believe it or not, that we don't allow here in IPW, and Richie Rich pulls him away. But he came in here with one purpose, and one purpose in mind only, and that was to go back home to Miami with some gold around his waist. Billy Fives is the type of guy that is going to do anything in his power to humiliate and degrade and destroy Danny Doring. And you can see the great camera work right here in IPW, live at the Florida WrestlePlex. You got to be there at the WrestlePlex to appreciate what these competitors are putting themselves through. This is the most physical organization in the entire wrestling business. We come out there, we're going to take it to each other, tooth and nail. These guys are in there, all business. The fans of IPW know that they're getting their money's worth, and this match is going to be taken to the limit. Somebody's going to get hurt, Aaron Royal. I can feel it. They might have got hurt out there on the ramp. Danny Doring very, very lucky that Billy Fies didn't use that ramp as a weapon like most of our competitors do. Now he's got him in a submission maneuver there, a reverse chin lock of sorts, and he's about to choke out Danny Doring. What he does to oh, get out of it, he pulls down Billy Fies' drawers, and we get to see the unceremoniously white ass of Billy Fies. Billy, for God's sake, the tanning bed doesn't care. Take off your drawers, wear a G-string like the hardcore giant does. For God's sake, get some sun on that posterior region. That is an incredibly, incredibly disturbing thought. Ron Neeme a G-string. I, I don't know, Ron. Just please don't ever bring that up again. The ladies of IPW, the fans of IPW have demanded to see the best of the best. And the truth is, the hairy ass of the hardcore giant Ron Neeme hands down is ten times better than the white pasty version of Billy Fives. And Danny Doring, he's up on the third rope now. Comes a big leg drop across Billy Fives. I don't think he can kick out. But I was absolutely wrong. You were absolutely wrong. He hits what would be known as the Alabama Jam if it was Bobby Eaton in the ring with Dennis Condry in the corner as they were feuding with Galaxian number one and Galaxian number two in the early days of Memphis Championship Wrestling. With All right, Ron Nimi, nobody cares about Galaxians one, two, seven, or 30. What they care about is right now the fan favorite Billy Fives laying flat on his back. And I'm not even sure what in the world he was trying to do with that maneuver there, but he took a little bit too long, and Billy Fies took advantage. He goes for a reverse spinning leg drop, and there's absolutely nobody home. Billy Fies with a huge moonsault, and there's nobody home again. For God's sake, Aaron, is there anybody home whatsoever? There's hardly ever anybody home when I'm dealing with the hardcore giant Ron Nimi, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I want to talk about these two competitors struggling to get to their feet, so Val on the outside going, I should probably be cheering to get you up, but I'm going to stand here and look sexy instead. She is looking sexy, and I don't care if she's cheering, I don't care if she's running around, jumping up and down, which preferably, go ahead, jump up and down, forget it, I don't care. There's action inside of the ring, and you see Billy Fives applying a Cobra Clutch type maneuver with Sergeant Slaughter, which would be proud of. But once again, Danny Doring, he's got a counter for every move, and he drives Billy Fives face first into the turnbuckle and comes behind and puts on a Cobra Clutch of his own. And he takes him down to the mat. Very smart maneuver. Perhaps if Billy Fives had done that, 
Danny Doyle wouldn't have been able to grab him by the hair, ram him into the turnbuckle and get out of that maneuver. So he goes, I'm not going to make that same mistake you did. I'm going to take you down to the ground. I'm going to hook your other, your other arm, that is, with my leg. But there goes Billy Fives, always thinking, throws both legs up on the second rope. They break the hold. Now Billy Fives has a chance to come back. You see right there the crowd. It was a turnaway crowd at the WrestlePlex. We had standing room only. We had people on the outside. We had people in the concession area. We had, I believe, six people in the restroom at one point. I don't know what was going on. That wasn't me oh, in there. You know what was going on. Danny Doring once again resorting to the closed fists, which are not illegal here in IPW. For some reason, Richie Rich, he decided to count Danny Doring and says, forget it. You guys want to punch each other half to death? Have at it. Take each other out. Punch each other in the face. But watch out because Billy Fies will go behind and catch you in this deal. Aaron, what the hell is it? Oh, my God. What is that, Aaron? That's the 5 o'clock high. The 5 o'clock high. Exactly. You're making up moves again. Exactly. Rich, Rich count him. He's got the leg hooked. So Kyle, with her beautiful ass, is trying to get in the ring. And Richie Rich, understandably, is distracted. Billy Fives, he's ready to tear her apart from the limb to limb. Richie Do Rich doesn't it. know. He's Do like, oh, I thought he was yeah, come on. on he's like, I had her right in the palm of my hand. She almost gave me your number. And you come over here, Billy Fives, and you're cutting me off. Richie Rich, she didn't come to your party. She's not going to talk to you now. That's the bareback. Two, three, still, your NWA Florida heavyweight champion, Danny Doring. Danny Doring doing a hell of a job taking the NWA Florida heavyweight title to new levels. Levels that haven't been seen since the days of Jack the Stretcher Hearts. Billy Fives did his absolute best to bring that bell home to Miami. He came up a little short. I have a feeling there we're to see a hell of a lot more from these two. I'm a little distracted right now, Ron Amy, but I believe what you were saying was hell of a match from these two competitors, and you're absolutely right. Billy Fives, Danny Doring, you got some of the best in the entire business, and there it is, Chris Chetty. He decides to stick his nose into the business of Danny Doring. They have a love-hate feud. You bet. We get it right, and it tastes so nice. At Sonny's, we make a big deal out of our all-you-can-eat specials. That's all-you-can-eat. Barbecue chicken, sliced pork, garlic bread, potatoes, and coleslaw, only $8.99. You'll be back for more. We'll make you smile at Sonny's. We're gonna make you feel good. Congratulations. Hold on, hold on. Congratulations. That was a long match, dude. You're going to tell me that you're actually blown up from calling the match between Billy Fives and Danny Doring? Did you see that? I seen it. I was sitting right next to you. I was going like, all right. Unbelievable. Oh, God, this idiot is blown up by calling Billy Fives versus Danny Doring. Next up, we got the Shane Brothers with the hardcore giant Ron Nimi taking on Lex Lovett and Steve Madison making their big return. Yeah, I tell you, those guys. Don't cut me off, especially if you can't even continue what you're saying. And for God's sake, put your sleeve down. If I had a chicken wing short like this at Extra Innings Boulevard Cafe, I'd you say that back with your witness. That's about the thinnest arm I have ever seen. Next up, the Shane Brothers against Steve Madison and Lex Lovett. And then we got the IPW television champion, Rod Steele. This match, fans, is for the NWA Florida Tag Team Titles. Big NWA Florida theme going on here this week on IPW Weekly Recap. The challengers, Lex Lovett and big man on campus, Steve Madison. And here come your champions. They must be back to certificates because there's no belts around their waist. 
It's Mike and Todd Shane, the second best brother duo in IDW. You better watch it with that second best brother duo, Aaron Royal. The Shane brothers don't like it. Stars of the Sunny's barbecue commercial, shown statewide here in Florida, easily two of the biggest fan favorites here in IPW, and your NWA Florida Tag Team Champions with the manager of champions, the hardcore giant Ron Nemi, in their corner. You bet. You bet. That's the truth. Mike and Todd Shane, easily two of the most athletic wrestlers in the business, destroying Steve Madison and Lex Lovett, taking it to them right away. They're showing them what the NWA Florida Tag Team titles are supposed to be all about. That's why the XWF snatched up the Shane brothers and Rod Nemi to go to Puerto Rico to go to war with the World Wrestling Council and the Cologne family. They're going to go down there and try to take out Puerto Rico. I may not like you when you're here, but anytime anybody's representing IPW in any way, I wish them the best of luck. Best of luck to you and the Shane brothers down in Puerto Rico. But somebody should be wishing the former NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion some luck right now because Lex Lovett is being manhandled by Mike and Todd Shane. Lex Lovett, you're talking about one of the best wrestlers in the business today. Some people like to refer to him as a cruiserweight. Some people like to think that he is a heavyweight. The truth is Lex Lovett was number 297 in this year's PWI 500. And that would normally be impressive. But when you're in the ring with Mike Shane, number 186, and Todd Shane, number 187, they're not impressed. The Pro Wrestling Illustrated 500 and their editor-in-chief, Brandy, recognize in Florida, they recognize IPW, and they recognize NWA Florida as the cream of the crop. This is where it's happening, Aaron. And let's not, let's not forget, we've got Steve Madison on the outside of the ring. He may not be known yet. He may not be ranked in the PWI 500, but he was trained by Jimmy Del Rey. And when you see him in the ring, he may not show it against the Shane brothers the way they're going right now, but this guy can go, and hopefully he'll be a big, big part of the future of IPW. Jimmy Del Rey is the man who gave Ron Nemi, the hardcore giant, his first break at the Florida Sportatorium, the Tampa Sportatorium, a historical landmark still in Tampa. He's the man that brought in the hardcore giant Ron Nemi and gave him his first break. And when you watch Steve Madison, you're not going to see it. Right there, he gets taken over and absolutely annihilated by Mike Shane. Steve Madison, one of the best up-and-comers in this business today, and watching him is like watching a young version of Jimmy Del Rey, but he might be in a little over his head tonight. He just might be. Mike and Todd Shane, they haven't tagged in a long time. Ever since Todd had that MCL injury, I won't even bring up where Ron Nemi says he got that injury from. We don't want to get thrown off the television, but let's just say he's back. He's very, very impressive, and they're ready to take the island by storm. They're going to take Puerto Rico by storm. They got a point to prove. Ricky Santana, welcome the hardcore giant Ron Nemi and the Shane brothers to the Millennium Wrestling Council. We are the offshoots of the XWF, led by Jimmy Hart and the Nasty Boys. We're the ones that are coming down there. We're not out for glory. We're not out for titles. We're out to destroy the reggaetons and the oh, 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 oh my god. That's power. That's strength. And that is the best in the business. That is the Shane Brothers. That was a big double slam unceremoniously down to the canvas. And there you see Mike Shane posing for the crowd. Look at that, Ron Nemi. I could actually tell who one of them was. When Tell them to wear the white outfits. I can actually tell them apart, just like anybody could tell them apart when they were in those ridiculous other costumes. There's nothing I could say whatsoever to change your mind about the ridiculous costumes that they were paraded around in front of some other company that claims to be a national powerhouse. You got Jimmy Hart's money from the XWF coming in. You want to dress up the Shanes? Look at that drop kick by Lex Lovett. He's coming in on fire. He's upset for absolutely getting destroyed. He nails Todd, who completely no sells it it's going to take more than that it's going to take one off the top rope by steve madison to take todd off his feet the shane brothers jimmy hart ron nemi ricky santana oh, Fidel sierra puerto rico is going to get annihilated oh this looks like a double oh double suplexes there steve madison and lex love it no slouches whatsoever they can't get anything going against your shane twins look at the size of the legs of the shane brothers look at the size of the shane brothers all together you're talking about strength and power and they destroy steve madison with a double shane buster there it is that's the three count still your nwa florida tag team champions and gunning for more mike and todd shane the shane brothers are coming to puerto rico ron nemi's coming to puerto rico the reggaetons the cologne family wwc will never be the same 
Main event time, fans. Here comes your challenger. He's never got a rematch since he lost his television title, but he's back down from up north, and he's ready to raise hell here with Ivy Needles. It's Dr. Heresy, and you see the crowd dancing. Actually, you don't, because our camera guy didn't get the shot. What's wrong with you, camera guy? I dare the camera guy to try to get her on the ass of Nurse I Ivy Needles. When she has oh. I'm sorry you got to call it like you see it, Aaron Royal. The former IPW television champion, Dr. Heresy, with the well-fed Nurse Ivy Needles. And here comes your champion. I love this part right here. Let's just be silent for just a second. Yeah! That wasn't silent. You weren't even silent for half a second. Well, whatever. I can't even call plays. What do you expect me to do, Ron Amy? There you see Shannon Rose in the ring. He's marking out for Rod Steele. And one of the funniest things ever is when your challenger, Dr. Heresy, got in a hell of a shot on Shannon Rose during his radio show, Pro Wrestling Weekly, one week. They had us all in an uproar, but that's not important right now. What's important is Rod Steele is going, hey, this is like when I was in the curtain jerkers. I'm looking up at the lights. He's laying down on the mat. He's laying down on the canvas, provided by HighSpots.com, the best website in the entire internet. You want all your wrestling needs? You want videotapes? You want to buy a full-size ring? You go to HighSpots.com. Rod Steele lays down the gauntlet, actually lays down himself, and you see him coming back. Dr. Heresy don't want to take him when he's laying down. Rod Steele said he'll punch you right in the face, and he'll drop you in a neck breaker, brother. And contrary to popular belief, no, I did not loan Dr. Heresy those hospital pants from when I was injured several months ago at the hands of Rodney. Aaron, that angle has been finished for almost six months. But I bring it up. Move on. You are now the hardcore madman. <sighs> exactly. Heresy shooting Rod Steele off the ropes. Hey, Heresy, he might have already lost this title to Rod Steele, but he hasn't seen the Rod Steele that has come out in the last couple of months. Beautiful, beautiful maneuver. That's a fisherman's neck breaker. That's not a maneuver. It's a maneuver. That's what Rod Steele calls it. He calls it the beautiful maneuver. Fisherman's neck breaker by Rod Steele. Everybody, please ignore Aaron Royal, who gives no respect to Rod Steele, who's getting basically Rod his is my in. friend. He isn't your friend. Nobody likes you. He looks like he's going for an atomic drop, and he basically pancakes out, nails him, and look, he's the one that got the short end of the stick. He's injured. He's out. We could have a new TV champion. Well, he'd have to try to pin him first, but Heresy very wisely astute. He's going, I don't have Rod Steele down for the count yet. I'm gonna lay in some punishment. I'm gonna try to work the crowd. I'm gonna start clapping my hands. What you should be doing is laying something into Rod Steele. Or our television champion is gonna make you very, very sorry, doctor. Rod Steele, the IPW television champion. He's in there with the former TV champion, Dr. Hersey, making his return to IPW in a very long time. He's coming in, he's getting that rematch. Look at her. Nurse Ivy Needles comes over there and puts her meat hooks right around the neck of Rod Steele. And she whispered in his ear, just what the doctor ordered, big guy. That's actually her new catchphrase. Is it? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Rod Steele, a little bit of trouble. I said you see a whole new Rod Steele here the last couple of months, but right now Dr. Harris is showing why he was a six months reigning television champion here in IPW as he's taking it to Rod Steele and he runs across, but he misses big time. Nobody home once again, Aaron. And Dr. Harris, former IPW television champion, you think he could afford to wear better than hospital scrubs into the ring? Rod Steele selling the leg like Greg Gagne did against Ronnie Garvin with the short run that they had with the AP AW TV title that meant absolutely nothing. This is the IPW TV title. He's got an what Indian death. I believe it's a modified Indian death block, now known as just what the doctor ordered. I thought that was the new catchphrase. Get, get your facts straight, Ron Neme. I told you that wasn't the catchphrase, Aaron. Whatever. Absolutely. Rod Steele, we haven't seen him in this much trouble since he won the television title, and that's taking on the likes of Jet Jaguar, taking on the likes of Frankie Capone, but never sell Dr. Heresy short. He may not be a Floridian like all these other guys are, but he came down here and made IPW his home for over a year. He was the television champion for six long months, and he's showing Rod Steele and all the fans exactly why. Dr. Heresy was a great champion when he was the IPW television champion. He took on all comers. He did everything he 
couldn't have protect that title, but Rod Steele was too much. Dr. Heresy comes within a half count of regaining that title. And on October 26th, IPW will be invading Deltona. We will be at the Pine Ridge High School, and we're absolutely going to destroy that coast of Florida. November 2nd, we'll be at the Lealman Discovery School, right on 35th Street, directly across the street from the Florida WrestlePlex, making his return on that night. Abdullah the Butcher, ah! the madman from the Sudan, comes back to IPW. I love Abdullah the Butcher. He comes in and causes craziness and mayhem each and every time he's here in IPW. He's taken on chaos. He's taken on ODD, who's been tearing up Big Japan. He comes in here, but IPW guys give him all he can handle. He's a legend, and we hang with him every step of the way. Abdullah the Butcher doesn't scare anybody. Hey! Steel, still your IPW television champion. Friend. He hits the huge lowdown out of nowhere. The Miami Palm Machine, Rod Steele, still your IPW television champion. Aaron and I are out of breath. For God's sake, take over. Ron Neme, you're always out of breath as you start spewing the nonsense that you always spew. But no doubt about it, a good friend of mine, not such a good friend of yours, the Miami Pound Machine, Rod Steele, still your television champion. Richie Rich looks around like, what's going on? I'm not getting laid out by Devin Nash this week. I have no clue what to do. This is your IPW television champion, Rod Steele. Wow. you got to get to the WrestlePlex. Wow. you got to get to Little wow. Man. This is IPW. You want to talk about an incredible night of IPW? You want to talk about action? And you want to talk about the television champion, Rod Steele? Everybody knows is the best in all of professional wrestling as a television champion to date. He comes out wearing the shirt of one comic book guy, Anderson, hailing from the bloodlines of the Andersons. I'm supposed to talk for about 30 seconds, but he says he's got a big announcement. Best TV champion ever.